Hi, it's Linda again. Um, I was reading an activist post, and it's about they're going to find people or businesses that boycott Israel. And uh, I happen to go to a place that boycotts Israel and has been since 2010, um, since Rachel Corey incident. It's a food co-op, and they have had a lawsuit filed against them, and we're still standing firm. Um, this is just how it's going to be. We're America. We can decide who we buy food from and who we don't. And uh, personally, I don't want to buy anything from Israel. So um, until they, they get a little ethics, they, they get involved with the human race instead of destroying the human race. So um, I'm going to show you the link of the um, the one I was reading. And I'll also go, go to my co-op and show you. Here we go. Okay, right here. U.S. business owners can be fined and imprisoned for supporting Israel boycott. And this is today, Friday, May 10th, 2013. Um, and I'll, I'll just leave this link for, for a link for you. Um, but what I'm going to go to, which, which is kind of more closer to me, is this. Um, this is the co-op I go to. And the lawsuit plaintiffs continue attacks against Olympia Food Co-op. Now, um, this was this this is still up on their main page because they're they're still fighting it, even though this was July 9, two thousand twelve. Um, they're trying to do everything. You have to understand, Rachel Corey grew up right down the street from this food co-op, co and then when the findings after she was killed by the Israelis when she was standing in front of a, um, a doctor's home in Palestine. Um, she was ran over by a, a tractor, not once, but twice, by an Israeli soldier. And nothing happened. The United States didn't fight for her rights, nor did Israel. They just dismissed it. And pretty much here where I live, um, you know, come find us. We'll stand. I mean, they've had some very good armed protest against this. Um, and, and and on here is their link. It says economic sanctions are the most effective tool in the nonviolent arsenal. Surrendering them verges an active complicity. And we're not going to ever take um, um, this boycott down unless they close us down. I'm a member of the co-op. Um, I mean, we have we have all kind of things now. The latest news over here is um, I'll leave you this link. Lawsuit plaintiffs attack a Kenya uh, continue against the co-op statement on boycott Israeli products from the Flaming Egg plant. Student ran cafe at the Evergreen State College announces boycott of Israel pro Israeli products. Um, the reason this is happening is because of what happened, you know, I mean, when, when you know the person that got killed in, in Israel and everybody around the co-op knew her and, and thought, what a wonderful little girl to go out and, and try to take on the world as she did, we're going to continue to boycott. So bring it on. I think it's against the law what they're trying to do myself. I mean, this is supposed to be... Uh, at least North American Union, not the Israeli Union, but we're, we're supposed to be the United States of America. Um, even though I know it's an empire system and Israel controls everything we do, they're not going to control this little food co-op co right yet. Not yet. Um, so anyway, peace, love, and I just wanted to let you know, the people that boycott Israel and the stores and stuff that do can be in prison. Um, and I think that's wrong, and we need to call every one of our congressmen and senators and tell them this is BS. And I do, I, I, I promote love, but I still think this is, this is BS telling me who I can buy from and who I can't. So um, I'll be calling mine. Peace and love and, and blessings, and I hope everyone has a good day.